They say age is nothing but a number, but today, if you're one of the wise, take advantage because it's National Senior Citizens Day. But to talk more about why it's so important for seniors to live a healthy lifestyle is Emily Labonte here with Healthcare Partners, also a nurse practitioner. Yes. Good morning, Emily. Thank Good you so morning. much for being here. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about this just because you have a little bit more gray hairs. <laughs> um, you need to take care of yourself more, obviously. But one thing uh, a lot of seniors don't know is that they need to get their immunizations again. Yes, yes, that's right. So just because um, we get our routine vaccinations mm -hmm. as children, we also need to continue getting the routine vaccinations, the ones that are recommended on into mm -hmm. our older adult years. What are some of those that are just, we were kind of running through a little, some of yeah. those that you think you don't need again, but you really do to protect yourself when you're older? Yeah, so as um, as babies, we get the pneumococcal vaccination vaccination, the PCB, um, but we need to get the Pneumovax and or the Prevnar vaccination also when we get 65 years old, so in some cases earlier than that. Yeah. And also the um, we get the T, the D tap as babies, mm -hmm. but we need to be getting the T tap as Again. adults every 10 years. Mm -hmm. Do you, are we seeing a lot of seniors do this or is this something that sometimes they don't know or don't want to do? Um, nobody really wants yeah, to get a right. shot. <laughs> no matter what age, it doesn't yeah. get easier. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, nobody really wants to get a shot. Um, I'd say that it's one of the things that we could do a better job on. Um, I think everybody, providers, patients, everybody could do a better job of making sure that we're all vaccinated and Definitely. healthy. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. It's not just about us, it's about everyone else as well if we get sick. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So that's a really, really good point. Um, the, the chicken pox um, vaccination. Some people never got chicken pox as children, yeah. so it is also recommended that you get chicken pox as an adult if you never got it as a child. You can check your, your titer to see if you are immune to it. If you're not, get the vaccine because it helps protect the little ones from Definitely. getting, because um, you can't get a vaccine yeah. against the chicken pox until you're 12 months. Mm -hmm. And so it also protects the little ones from getting it. If you don't get it, Definitely. neither will they. Speaking of the little ones, although we were talking about senior citizens, you guys are doing uh, some clinics for going back to school. Can you talk about just how important those are and what you guys are doing? Yeah, um, so we are having um, our last back to school clinic. I believe it's next Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it's just important for all of our little ones to make sure that they're getting their vaccinations mm -hmm. before they're going to school. So so, Definitely yeah. that and all their sports physical exams, everything you need to get ready to go back to school. Yes. Well, if we can bring that screen up one more time, uh, this is the back to school clinic that's their last one that they're having Saturday, August 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's at the Gal uh, Galleria Clinic. The address is right there. It's over in Henderson. Like they said, it's the last one, so you don't want to miss out on the opportunity. It's sports physicals, um, immunizations, everything you need to really head back to school. Thank you so much, Emily. Thanks. Stay with us.